Hey, it's I don't know what's Arsene, and this is my free to play fishing guide sponsored by SM Dyson. In this video, I will show you two main series of methods to get level 99 in fishing. So, the first series of method is based on experience, and as you can see, it's really similar to the member series of method. So, from level 1 to 10, you will catch shrimps, and then from 10 to 20, you will catch herring and sardines. After that, all the way to level 99, you will catch fly fishing. The second series of method is based on money, so as you can see you can make around 40 million GPs from level 1 to level 99 in around 460 hours. So like the other series of method, you will train by catching shrimps and then herring and sardine. After that you will do a little bit of fly fishing from level 20 to 55 and then 55 to 65 you will catch lobster and then all the way to level 99 you will catch swordfish. Before starting this guide, I want to talk about a fishing urn. So, like some of you might already know, they give a 20% bonus experience of fishing. So, I highly recommend to use them. In order to make them, you all you have to do is use a water room on them while having a certain crafting level. Like I said earlier, from level 1 to level 10, you will catch raw shrimps. So, they do not give incredible amount of experience per hour, but that's the only way you can train at that level. After that, from level 10 to level 20, you will catch herring and sardines. So they give a slightly better experience than shrimp, but it's still very bad. The items you will need to catch both fish is fishing urns, fishing bait, fishing rod, and a small net. Also, if you have an explorer ring, 3 or 4, don't forget to bring it. There are many places where you can catch shrimps and herrings, but I especially like the drainer spot because it's very close to a bank. Okay, so from Lumbridge, go west until you reach Draenor. It's not very far away, but anyway, you only have to do the trip once. Okay, so when you arrive, you use the net option in order to catch shrimps. So you will do this until you get level 10, and after that, you will start catching a ring and sardine. To do this, you select the bait option of the fishing spot. When your inventory is full, simply go back to the bank and drop every fish you have in your inventory. Now let's talk about trouts and salmons, also known as fly fishing. So you will train that way from level 20 to level 55 if you want money, or all the way to level 99 if you prefer experience. In this video, I'll show you three main ways about fly fishing. So the first one is the regular method. So you simply wait until your inventory is full of fish and then you drop them one by one. The second method is mouse so it's exactly like the regular method except you're using mouse in order to drop them very fast. So with this method you then expect around 60k experience per hour in fishing at level 99, so level 20 to level 99 should take around 220 hours. The third method is low alchemy, so instead of dropping the fish you will cast low alchemy on the fish you will catch in order to get rid of them. So you will get both fishing experience and magic experience. However, the cost will be a little bit higher at 4.8 GP per experience in fishing. The best place for fly fishing for free to play players is inside the Barbarian Village and the fastest way to get there is to use a Barak Teleport. In this video, I'll only talk about dropping the fish, but you can bang them if you want. I don't really recommend it, but it's still a viable option. This is the items you will need for the regular and mouse method, so fishing urns, feathers, room for a Barak Teleport and a fly fishing rod. From Barak, run west until you reach a barbarian village. You will have to cross the river in order to get to the fishing spots. So right there. So use the lure option of the fishing spot in order to start fishing. Don't forget to push the mouse button to only one if you want to use the mouse keys. So simply use the lure option and you will automatically catch fishes. So trouts and salmons. If you need a guide about mouse keys, or if you simply don't know what it is, then simply click the annotation on the screen. So now let's talk about the mouse keys, so 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, and <laughs> it's really easy to do. You can also press the plus button instead of 5 twice. So this is how it should look at normal speed. So as you can see it's way faster than regular clicking. And then when your inventory is empty you simply click the lure option once again and you repeat. 
The only difference between the Maskey's method and the low alchemy method is that you will need nature room and a fire staff. Okay, so simply click the lower option of the fishing spot and make sure that the low alchemy icon is located in the top left corner of your magic spellbook. Now simply cast low alchemy as soon as a fish appear to make it disappear and get magic experience. This is by far the most efficient way for free to play players to train fishing because you do not waste any time dropping the fishes. You can only do this with low alchemy because if you try with high alchemy you will stop fishing and you won't get experience. Now let's talk about the second series of meta based on money, so from level 55 to 65 you will catch lobster, they give around 50k GP per hour. Then after that from level 69 to 99 you will catch swordfish, you can expect to make around 40 million GPs. The items you will need to catch lobster and swordfish are fishing urns as usual, lobster pot or an harpoon, and if you have an explorer ring 304, bring it. The only way for free to play players to reach Karimja where the fish are is to use the port Sarin, and the fastest way to get there is to use an explorer ring or a home teleport. Please take note that there is a guy in the island that can melt your fish, so you do not have to go back to the Draenor bank, you can stay on the island forever. Ok, so teleport to the cabbage field with your explorer ring and run south to port Sarin. You want to go to the middle docks and talk with one of the sailors there to be teleported to Karimja. Once you're in the island, run northwest to the fishing spots. So right there, use the cage option if you want to catch lobster and use the harpoon option if you want to catch swordfish. Also don't forget that when you use the harpoon option to catch swordfish you will also catch tunas. I recommend to keep both of them because they are still good money. When your inventory is full or if you want to bank or note them, run southwest to reach the guy that can note your items. So right there. So use the option, yes I want to exchange all my fish for notes. And here you are, your inventory is all empty now. Go back to the fishing spot and repeat. 